హలో ఎవరివన్ దిస్ ఈస్ సిద్ధేష్ అండ్ ఆర్ టీమేట్స్ శ్రేయస్ శుభా మైండ్ సిద్ధార్థ్ వీ ఆర్ గోన్ ప్రజెంట్ దిస్ ఫర్ ప్రొజెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఏ ఈ కామర్స్ వెబ్సైట్ ఫర్ అగ్రికల్చరల్ ప్రొడక్ట్స్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ దిస్ ప్రజెంటేషన్ ఈజ్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ మేకింగ్ అండ్ వర్కింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఈ కామర్స్ వెబ్సైట్ ఫర్ అగ్రికల్చరల్ ప్రొడక్ట్స్ హియర్ వీ విల్ నో హౌ దిస్ హోల్ ప్రొసెస్ ఆఫ్ బైంగ్ అండ్ సెల్లింగ్ టేక్స్ ప్లేస్ by saving all the de- records in the, into the databases this is the whole outlook and how the users cred- cred- credentials are stored and u- user friendly transaction onto the website purpose purpose of the project the main purpose of this e-commerce website is to encourage farmer to buy and sell their goods and farm products directly to the consumers uh, objectives to make exchange of goods and services easier for the farmers and encouraging farmers to broaden their services meet the changing demand of the population and consumers and grow the products accordingly educating them on on the importance of digital market and internet and e business the overall description of this project is with growing indian economy and the rate of inflation we might have an assumption that majority of families in india meet their basic needs but surprisingly the farmers are the ones who suffer irrespective of growth that taking place and which has already taken off farmer have cut throat situation to ha- to meet their basic needs because of natural calamities urbanization increasing inflation and many other factors some of the functional requirements of our project are one requires internet connection second it requires hardware device which has web browser to access the website third user should be able to register for a new account should be able to log in into his account session from the system after his valid credentials are verified fourth when the user enters the information the system shall send an approval request fifth the server shall log all changes to existing data sixth all the user data shall be stored into database seventh after 24 hours of time the system should send notification to the exporter that his product is not bought eight after some places uh, someone places order for importing product system should send notification ninth after someone adds a new product for ex- exporting the system should update and should send the new product ninth the user should be able to send query request to the customer care and tenth and the last one user should be able to log out of the session from the system in which he had logged in a sequence diagram shows object interactions arranged in a time sequence we have a customer that's an actor a web browser object a php server object and mysql database object so the user visits the portal by passing a asynchronous message in response he gets another asynchronous message which asks for registration the user enters the details which are further sent by the browser to the php server and which are further stored into the mysql database on storage into the database the uh, the database uh, responds with a message on success the server renders a new login page and the user is asked to enter his login credentials the user enters his login credentials which are passed to the server and which are passed for checking into the database uh, the password is check for the corresponding user id which the uh, user has entered uh, the database sensor login status on success a new php session is created and uh, the server renders the home page of the of the account for the particular user so further the user uh, clicks from the available option when the user chooses export option uh, the server fetches the registered products of his which are registered for export and the database responds in turn and 
the server renders the export page the user can also register a new product which which will be stored into the database an appropriate message will be returned to the server and then to the web browser if the user chooses import option available import products will be fetched from the database and appropriate response will be given to the server and an import page will be rendered if the user chooses pricing option the server renders the pricing page if the user chooses contacts contact us and if he wants to send a, a query uh, appropriate subject and message will be stored into our database and on a successful sub submission of the query database will respond with appropriate message and that will be updated on the uh, web browser if the user chooses uh, to log out that is if the user logs out the php session will be destroyed and the user will be logged out from his account and a new uh, login page will be rendered by our server so firstly we have a class called as customer so in the customer class we have four attributes namely name email country and pan all of the type strings so in here it's quite evident that one customer can place multiple orders so the cardinality ratio of the export product order and import product order will be equal to zero to many so now coming towards uh, the export product order class we have two attributes namely product name and origin of the type string and two attributes uh, price and quantity of the type uh, int Additionally, we have these two methods called as calculate total and calculate uh, tax, uh, which are uh, private. So uh, the same is being applied for the import product order class. Uh, yeah. So now moving towards the order detail class, we have these two attributes, quantity and tax status uh, of the type end. Also three more methods called as calculate total, calculate tax and calculate weight have also been included. So finally in the item class, uh, uh, we have uh, two attributes called as shipped weight and destination one of the type int and the other of the type string. And additionally we have these three more methods called as uh, get total, get tax and get weight. So that's it. Let us now look at the live demonstration of our website. We have named it as AgriX, which uh, deals with the uh, export and import business of all the products. Before jumping into the website, what the end user has to do is he has to register himself into the website. And that is being done by register now. You go and click onto the register now. And once the page is being loaded, uh, we have got uh, various uh, credentials that we are supposed to fill like username and name country we are supposed to fill all of those information and password let me just type it and name of the user abc uh, let's just say and the country that the user is staying in and then we click on register now what actually happens is all the da data that we have filled in from the website is is flown into the database uh, let me just refresh it okay now what actually happens is once after the data has been uh, uh, inputted from the website it flows into the database into the sign up uh, section what actually happens is all the data that we have submitted is uh, systematically stored in the database after this we log in to the website using the same credentials Okay, this is a login page we are using a username and password and once we enter it thoroughly we click on submit and once again after clicking submit what actually happens is it goes back to the database and the information that we have used uh, in the login is cross checked with the information that we have already filled during register if both the information matches then we are given the entry into the website if not then it denies uh, access to the portal okay this is a home page of the AgriX uh, at the right side we have a profile uh, which has the data that we have already given during our register like our name 
email address country uh, we have also got pan and eic that you can alter it later on and we have got services buttons which are for uh, which are export import pricing contact export deals with uh, selling of goods or like agricultural products and import deals with buying of those products by end users so basically export deals with farmers selling their products uh, just a vague idea and import deals with end users may be customers or like hotel dealers that buy the goods from the farmers the, the very intention of this website is to help farmers gain all the profits by cutting the middlemen so that farmers of our country gain all the profits and moving on pricing pricing is basically the subscription to the website we have got various uh, subscription plans uh, we have three of them which will be explained later on in the course and we have got contact which uh, deals with all the queries by the end users the, uh, the queries can be submitted and the website team the, uh, actually the customer team can manage it and solve the queries so this is a home page so now let's explore the export option so when I click on export button, it takes me to the export page. Uh, here, this is the just a welcome message with the exporter name that is ABC, a person who has logged in with his account. So this is an exporter's uh, form for adding a new product for exporting purpose. So I enter the exporter's name as ABC, product trading name as Cherry, and price will be 500 per kg. And now I s select the image of the cherry. So when I click export, so now this product has been stored into our database. So now let me show you the database. So this is our database and this is the exporters table wherein the every product associated with an individual names that is an account will be stored into this table. So as we can see uh, the ID number 28 that is the name ABC product cherry uh, amount is 500 per kg and this is the image. So this has been stored into our database and the similar products associated with individual accounts are fetched down we can view this so as we can see this is the product which we have added in this demo after clicking on import what actually happens is the products that has been exported by the farmers or, or the exporters is been reflected into the import page we have got various available products from the exporter that that has been reflected on the importers page we have onions american almonds orange apple and dates we we have got its price that is being uh, listed by the exporters and the available quantity that the export is ready to trade in with okay for instance let us uh, choose any of the products that we desire okay suppose let us click on orange let me just click it now we are going to click on buy and what actually happens is after clicking on buy the, it shows up a pop-up message saying that the product has been successfully added we will contact customer service and send you details shortly after, in this process what actually happens is once after the importer is success uh, is you know comfortable with the product that is buying he clicks on buy button and as soon as he clicks the buy button the website team contacts the transportation service and makes arrangements for the uh, transportation of the goods as, as soon as the transportation service confirms it we send in all the details like transportation number vehicle number we also send in the exporter's name and his phone number to the importer so that they can have a direct communication between themselves and you know it uh, uh, this idea uh, washes out all the middlemen by making the trade between the exporter which is efficiently farmer and the importer very conveniently uh, so this is a pricing section of the website that deals with the subscription and plans and all so the website provides three different uh, subscriptions namely starter regular and plus uh, yeah but the end user is free to choose uh, any of the subscription packs 
are based on their needs so these are the three different types of subscription plans we have so this is it for pricing section now let's move on to the contact section so this is going to be our contact section here the end user are free to contact the website and their team on any of their queries so if at all uh, the customer or the end user has a query then he is free to enter the message uh, like wherein uh, the website and their team can uh, quickly examine and try to uh, solve the problem within uh, within at most two working days so this is a subject section wherein you can type anything for now let's consider a uh, service delay and inside the message section we can type not satisfied So let's click on send message. So as you all can see that the message has been successfully sent and just to cross verify this we can just open up the database. So let me reload this. So as you can see at the ID number 16, we have the subject saying service delay and message saying not satisfied. So that's it. And at last a uh, conclusion, our application works on mo both mobile device and desktop devices. Here farmers and users around the globe can use it for import and export directly from the end producers eliminating all the intermediate channels which will perhaps increase the farmer's income and buyers can get it get it at better price thanks